Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. I'm your host, the Pokegamer. In the last episode, we basically made our way to Viridian City, explored around a little bit, found out the gym leader wasn't there, and so, since we have nothing else to do in Viridian, we're heading south towards Pallet Town. Um, I don't think there are any trainers on this route, but um, yeah, so we'll be doing that today, and hopefully making it to Cinnabar as well, which would be kind of cool. So I'm going to kind of cover this immediately because there's really not much to really talk about. Um, yeah, this Arado Pokemon that looks like a fucking tree. Um, very bad idea, in my opinion. Like, uh, it looks like some kind of tentacle octopus thing. Like, uh, it's weird. Like, and we don't even have confirmation as to what it actually looks like. So we're kind of just basing it off of drawings and whatnot that people have been submitting to Cerebi and probably other sites. <coughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, nothing really exciting about it, unless it gets a really cool new, uh, you know, typing or, you know, some weird shit like that. Um, switch into Togekiss. Every time I see Togekiss, I feel like I'm playing, like, Diamond Pearl Platinum. And again, I'm kind of I'm gonna kind of apologize if you hear a fan in the background. It's because it's really humid here today, and um, yeah, the only way that could have hacked any more is if I got a full stat increase, which would be kind of a pain in the ass. Okay then. Anyways, next trainer. Uh, I just can't wait for X and Y to come out, like, for real. X and Y, as long as we get our, like, in my opinion, the biggest thing that I want changed is abilities, and maybe even some improvements to moves, um, like, some of the multi-hit moves, they only do, like, 15 to 25 damage, maybe up that by, like, 10 damage, maybe, just maybe on certain ones that aren't obviously overpowered because in my opinion like it would give, it would make a few things from older generations obviously more viable and at the same time like if you look at things like Chinchino and whatnot like it can learn moves that a lot of other higher ups can actually learn as well and you kinda don't want to give them the multi-hit shit as well like we already have to deal with Skill Link Cloyster who can use Rock Blast and I can't remember what the other one is it's not Ice Shard I think it's Icicle Spear or some shit like that. Um, I, I suck at remembering a lot of the names, sue me. But, um, yeah. But, like, things like that, improvement on moves, and fixing some abilities, namely things like Sturdy, which kind of can turn a match into something completely unfair. I mean, great, confuse right. For those who I have not covered this with, Confusion, Sleep, and Paralysis, all in my opinion, are OP and very unfair. Same with Sleep. Sleep's unfair too, unless you happen to get lucky and wake up on the first turn every fucking time. But, yeah. I think the last time they improved uh, the whole Sleep thing was Generation 3, maybe? When, because I think in Gen 2 they had a 6 turn sleep, I don't know if you can actually sleep for the full 6 turns in any later game, because you don't really see it all that often, um, if at all, that is, and, like, I, I, I personally have never seen a 6 turn sleep in anything past Generation 2, so, but that's just my personal thing, I guess, so, I am going to go with the flamethrower. I'm also working on getting myself an XL so that way I can play not only X and Y and, you know, as full of screen as I can possibly get it, but Fire Emblem Awakening as well as um, Ocarina of Time 3D. Uh, both of them are, like, amazing ass games, as well as uh, Pokemon, obviously. And, I mean, playing them in a bigger screen is obviously better. Speaking of 3DS, this mine's kind of being retarded right now as well. Like, you know how in the original one, um, like you have the start, select, and the home button. Apparently, on the original DS, there's it's more like a like a film kind of thing, like like a very 
thin thing that was just kind of glued there. And apparently mine likes to keep pushing itself up so I can kind of see the inside of where those buttons are. I'm not sure if it's actually the inside or if it's just like a clear plastic that's there that I can push down for the button um, and just have the film moving around because the, you know, it might be because of the heat and that kind of makes a little bit of sense. Um, but yeah, that's part of the reason why I want to get an XL as well is because my current one's going to hell. And I really don't want to have to go out and get another one after I get X and Y and be unable to play it or some shit like that. Like, come on. Another thing I've actually been considering trying to get sometime next year is a capture board for the 3DS. Because um, next year we have Smash Brothers coming out. It'd be kind of cool to do, uh, you know, like Wi Fi fights and shit with Smash Brothers, assuming that'll be, you know, a thing. Um, so, I mean, yeah, there's that. So, I'd like to do that next year if possible. Um, if I send in my current BS that I have, um, it should only cost me a couple hundred dollars. But, I mean, it depends on a lot of factors. That I can't really guarantee, by the way. I would like to have the capture card before I actually get to the Gen 6 Let's Play. And even then, like, I kind of want to wait for the remake of the game, rather than just play through the, the first game. Like... Everyone's gonna be, everyone and their mother's gonna be playing X and Y when the game comes out. Cause I mean, who the hell isn't going to be? But like, I kind of wanna do the deluxe version of the game whenever that comes out, assuming that it'll even be possible. Cause again, 3D simulation apparently isn't a thing yet. So um, yeah. Before we continue moving, I wanna switch up my lead. Wow, Dragon is my lower level. And yes, I left Hello behind like that because, you know, Ubers, oh my god. That actually reminds me. Um, for those of you who do not know, the suspect test voting for Landers has been, I guess, tallied. I don't, I honestly don't know where the hell the votes went, but, um, yeah. Uh, Landers Incarnate is now Uber. So, tough luck to anyone who enjoys using Landers Incarnate. Therian, in my opinion, is still better, and yeah. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. I don't know if this is an everyday thing or whatnot, but if you you know want to, you can have her groom one of your Pokemon. It's kind of the happiness thing. Like if you want to increase the happiness of a Pokemon, you happen to be in Kanto instead of Johto. Um, yeah, best place to go is right here. And we already talked to this chick, so we're gonna go down here. Talk to this guy. Sure, why not? No one else over that way, and no one else over that way. So, time to go see Professor Oak. I'll talk to the assistants first. Um, over here. And then, lastly, Professor Oak. Um, sure, let's check the national decks for no reason. And that was uneventful music, and I don't want to talk to him again. Shut up. Shut up. He also talks about a gift that you get after you get all the gym badges. Well, we'll definitely be coming back for that, even though it's kind of pointless. Now we get to continue our way south. I don't remember if there's any trainers here, and I was kind of hoping to get on land before I could run into a wild battle, but thank you. I'm going to kill you now. Bye bye. I'm sorry if I don't sound so thrilled about finding a wild battle. Um, it kind of irritates me whenever I don't want to encounter something. If I'm not mistaken, there is a trainer here, but no, I guess not. There was, I think, in Gen 2, but I could be mistaken. Yay! Lots of seagoing trainers that we get to fight now. So, yeah, that's a thing. And first trainer. Of course I'm looking for a battle, why else would I be doing anything in a Pokemon game? Oh 
oh no, before I shard or some shit like that. Not very afraid. I think I'm going to stay in. Can't get confused on the first turn. Second turn, maybe. But, obviously, there's not going to be a third turn. Not unless this takes us like a champ, in which case that's going to be annoying. I like how it's really cloudy out, apparently, because, like, you know how when a cloud kind of covers the sun, like, it, everything just goes dark? It keeps doing that. It's kind of annoying. Um, I think this is Cameron? Yeah, this is Cameron. No. Stop asking me to take pictures of kids. Because if I'm not mistaken, Ethan's actually supposed to be like like 12 or 13, some shit like that. Speaking of Cloyster, hello, pre-evolution. How are you? Have I introduced you to Outrage? <clears throat> Of the actual, like going back on the like whole capture card thing, like if I ever actually do get that, I wouldn't mind actually doing a let's play for Fire Emblem. It's a very fun game. I've beaten it. I think tw well, I'm gonna be working on the twice or the second time. A lot of leveling up. Um, it's very tedious in my opinion, <clears throat> but it's a lot of fun. I enjoyed the game. Some of the earlier versions of the, like of Fire Emblem, I really didn't enjoy all that much, just because of like I guess the lack of graphics or whatever. But Awakening was definitely good, and like in my current, I guess you could say competitive file, because I I know you can fight other people. Um, a lot of the people I have have a lot of the beneficial abilities and whatnot that you can you know, and like I, I'm still working on it. And, as a result, I have, I think, 87 hours of gameplay on there. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure that someone's like, Wow, dude, you got no life. Um, I do it in my spare time, really. And it's only recently that I started up leveling up and shit again. And that was because I found out that there were uh, characters that could be unlocked, even, you know, even though they were evil or whatever. So... And I'm not sure if I'm going to be taking on the last DLC map that they had. And speaking of DLC maps, I kind of want to see um, X and Y implement something like that. It'd be kind of cool. Like, it'd be kind of, you know, gay to have to buy it. But it'd be kind of cool at the same time to see something like that implemented. Why am I calling myself? Go away. I wonder how many people are going to actually pick up on that. Oh boy, of course, uh, yay! I can't remember if you have water absorbed, so I'm just gonna go with Outrage. If I don't see you used at all. Ever. Uh okay. Depending on confusion, I may have to switch out here. Crystal is one of my favorite Pokemon, though. I love its design. Yay, I didn't get confused. I will this turn. I'm considering actually risking the confusion. Uh huh. I know what we can do. Go Toby Kiss. Instead of risking some damage. I'd even get the free level up. Or a sphere. <laughs> and it's most likely dead because super effective damage and critical hit apparently and you know. I think that's all Toby Kiss did throughout this entire episode was critical. 64, yay! What the fuck is that noise? 
Anyways, so in the next episode, basically what we're going to be doing is, you know, making our way to Cinnabar Island, because that's where our next gym is going to be, that we need to, you know, kind of push the shit in of, because, I mean, we haven't collected all the badges yet, so therefore we have to push the shit in of the remaining gym looters. Makes a lot of sense, right? Because that's the object of the game. Anyways, um, so yeah, and if any Pokemon news actually gets revealed that's, you know, relevant or good, because, again, a Roto is really just boring whatever. Um, if you want to look at it, just go over to Serbia. Uh, you know. Yeah, I actually got that right that time. Anyways, until next time, this is the Poke Gamer signing out.